Two of 2022's most frustrating team, the Patriots and Raiders, square off in Vegas in a game that is close to a pick em. Kyle Dvorak. Tell the folks what they need to know other than Bill Belichick cannot wait to eat his former protege's lunch, Josh McDaniels. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this game kind of goes down as an injury game in which, like, especially for, like, the Raiders, you, you know what to do. You play Josh Jacobs, you play Devontae Adams. You play Matt Devont- Collins, mm, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, well, oh, Okay, <laughs> so let's not – actually, I, I normally do think Matt Collins is fine. He, you know, he's Gabe Davis for a not-Josh Allen guy, oh, so man. it's whatever. But this is a, a truly uh, back-breaking matchup. Patriots are number one in pass EPA on defense, and they're number nine in run EPA, too. They're just a really strong defense on all fronts. So I'm only playing the guys who I can lock in a ton of volume from the Raiders. We may end up getting, I think they both, they activate, I know they activated both, or well, they designated to return, both yeah. Hunter Renfro and Darren Waller. I mean, we're talking about Jeff Driscoll as a tight end. You could play Darren Waller. I think it would be a, a risky play for sure. We just don't know what he'll come back to. And we even know that early in the year, his role wasn't elite. He was only 13th in target share. He was fourth in air yards. The one benefit of having Devonte adams is they were able to move darren waller around a bit more they're able to use him deeper so we'd have some big play upside even if it's a really tough defensive matchup and tight ends terrible so well, why not you know ha- have fun with it he'd be top 15 yeah exactly i don't know if i'd be comfortable throwing him back into tight end one range but all you need is a few teams in your league to have two tight end ones which isn't hard because there's a lot of bad tight end ones and you'd be in a spot where maybe you start darren waller so it's only obviously just Check up on this site, little site I run called rotoworld.com. <laughs> See, thanks for running that, play. man. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for recognizing it. Finally, you're the first one. Other side of the ball, Devonte Parker and Ramondre Stevenson did not practice start the week. Parker doing a concussion. I, I'd be shocked if he plays. Ramondre also doesn't look super likely, and Damian Harris was back at practice. I'm not sure entirely what role we'd see from Damian Harris. He's really struggled just to stay healthy this year. I wouldn't expect him to get a full time role. Pierre Strong, who came out of college looking like could play all three downs. He wouldn't play all three downs every snap in a game, but he's a strong pass catcher and a decent runner. Maybe it would take some of that Ramondre role, but I wouldn't really bet on anyone other than Damian Harris. I think if, depending on what receiving room we get from this team, because Jacoby Myers dealing with concussion, but got in what seemed like the most limited practice. He wasn't spotted at the open portion of practice for media, but did get called limited on uh, Wednesday. So if he's in the lineup, you're definitely playing. The Raiders defense is one of the worst against the pass, bottom three in EPA allowed. And if he doesn't play and Parker doesn't play, I'm even fine throwing some darts on like a Taekwon Thornton type or even Nelson Aguilar. So I thought you were going to maybe say, say Aguilar, who probably would see like it was six to eight targets mm-hmm. in that scenario. He'd run almost every route for the team. We wouldn't uh, love I, it. I heard a, a stat about Mac Jones the other day. kind of blew my mind. Uh, since... He came back into the starting job for New England. Mac Jones, uh, 31% of his attempts have been at or behind the line of scrimmage. Oof. That's just just shocking. I mean, and no I'm trying rain, to... don't you oof. That's how our Ramondre teams made the playoffs in best ball. That's right. <laughs> That's true. Although we'd love for him to be able to play this week. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And also, I again, you know, I would love if Ramondre is able to play again if he could gain more than one yard. Per <laughs> <laughs> Who was going to? All his backups had great games in the game. I know. Would be quite Uh, nice. So, Kyle, if Damian Harris doesn't go, and I guess he looks like he probably will, but if he doesn't, how would what's your read on it? Pierre Strong season. uh, I didn't Kevin Harris out carry him last week. It's Kevin Uh, Harris. Kevin Harris. I mean, I think it would be a true committee. We would get the full time. Bill Belichick's been dying to throw out a committee because he hasn't got to do the committee shtick much this year. I think we would see more Kevin Harris on the ground by like maybe a considerable margin. But Pierre Strong, like profile, is a good pass catcher coming out of college. So I think it would be a true committee in which okay. uh, Kevin Harris gets the, at least the lead in carries and probably snaps. Maybe the Raiders would just let the Patriots use Josh Jacobs for 20 touches there. They use him for 30, get him up to 50 touches, maybe mm-hmm. make it a little more even. Uh, he's averaging actually 30 touches over the past five weeks, by the Jeez. way. Um, absolutely astounding. <laughs> Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBC Sports and Rotoworld.com. Just want to thank you so much for watching what you just watched, or at least being too lazy to click out of it after the you know autoplay just kept it going. So either way, thank you so much for just letting it scroll by your screen. And now I'd like to ask you respectfully, 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 okay, respectfully, please subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel for the latest NFL news, fantasy headlines from Rotoworld, and betting analysis from NBC Sports Edge.